So it's almost like there's this huge system, this huge network that's been around for so long, and it totally and completely understands how to keep everything in balance. But then we come along and we think that we understand how things should work when we're really off base. You know, we we don't have the um, uh, the foresight and we're not humble enough to understand that there's this thing that has been here for forever, basically, and already understands how everything should work. And if we kind of worked in accordance with its own, um, if we understood how fungi, fungi worked and how mushrooms work and how how it kind of keeps everything in balance and everything in flow and in motion, um, you know, then we can thrive as well. And it seems that we've reached the end of our road as far as how we've done everything for so long and how, you know, we're just coming back full circle. Like we're starting to understand that in fact, the fungi have the answers to, to a lot of the, the problems that have emerged in the past few hundred years. Um, you know, it, it's just, it just blows me away. I guess I just, as someone who's just kind of becoming more exposed to this information, I'm just, it's a real trip, you know, it's a real, and I imagine that there's people that are coming to your courses and coming into, you know, an interest in mycology and are starting to realize like how deep this really goes, you know, that this isn't just an interest. This isn't just some passing thing. This is something that can very well transform how we how we do everything in our culture and in our societies. It's, uh, I just wanted to remark on that. It's just, it's amazing, you know? And, uh, yeah, I, I don't even know where to go from here. I just think that, you know, the, the fact that, that this has been under our feet literally for so long and it's just starting to become understood is, uh, says a lot about, you know, Western culture and about us as a people. I don't know. Well, yeah, and and the the, the subtitle one of the, the subtitle of my book is um, so it's the title is Radical Mycology, a treatise on seeing and working with fungi, just like you're saying. And that term of seeing fungi uh, came to me in the writing process uh, when I really started to appreciate fungal ecology, and just as you're sort of getting at um, so appropriately is. It's, it's really about changing your perception of the world and, and seeing the natural world, especially, um, as, as built on the, this great network that, that is constantly designing and really engineering the world around us. Uh, and all that they do and, and the fact that they've been doing it sort of since before everything, you know, apart from, say, bacteria, mm-hmm. uh, they really are the, the, the spatial engineers of our planet. And we need to accept that. And, and really start to understand the implications of that, but also work with that intelligently. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, and so that's a lot of what I try to do is express that potential. Um, mm-hmm. And and that's why I'm currently I'm trying to start a, or I'm starting a school to take this knowledge a step further. Because what I consistently find is that people like yourself, you sort of start to realize these things, you know, it's new to you at some point it's going to be new to you and it's going to sort of change you mm-hmm. and, and hit you in a, in a pretty deep level very often. But what I constantly find is people say, Whoa, okay, I want to grow mushrooms, but now, but I also want to go further than that. What do I do? How do I, how do I, you know, I want to add to this. I want to be a part of this, this world change that we're currently going through. Really. I see this as a, uh, you know, it's hard to see it when you're in the middle of, of a great, change in history, but I do see this as, as that, that we're in this shift in, in this human story of it, mm-hmm. in many respects, of course, but, but in this, in this regard, uh, we are going through a, a, an unprecedented change in the relationship of hi- in history of humans working with fungi and understanding because so much of what we're discovering was never known ever. And, and a lot of it is incredibly profound. And so the implications of that, the outcome of that, you know, is to be determined in, in and, it, and that I find it really fascinating to do this work because it's it's such a, a an unknown future with fungi and a, and a really incredible one I think to come. Um, right. That's why I'm trying to contribute to that, both with through radical mycology through the advocacy and now with the Kickstarter that I'm funding. Um, that's I'm not sure when this uh, episode's coming out, but it's in, in in just a little over a week. But we okay. are uh, starting the world's basically the first school of online. You know, courses and also in in person uh, apprenticeships to to not just say get on uh, short you know techniques or something with cultivation, but really develop the whole culture. There'll be topics on everything from biology and ecology to 
uh, cultural history and, you know, really fleshing out much of the information in my book, but also uh, evolving far beyond that so that we can, you know, so that really there can be um, a movement forward with this knowledge because it, it needs to be out there. It needs to really great gain traction. Um, and the, and you know, the time is really right because as with yourself, and like you're saying, you're seeing online more and more, it's, it's, it is finally getting out there. Um, but unfortunately, the unfortunate thing has always been my experience personally and people I've met is that even, you know, 10 years ago, especially you get hooked, but there was nowhere to go with that. Mm -hmm.